So, people usually ask me, how did I configure my WAM? वैसे ज़्यादा कुछ तो है नहीं बताने को but let me explain you very quickly. So, every WAM has its configuration file in WAMRC. So, I'll tell you about all the plugins that I have. The first one is the WAM bundle. So, what WAM bundle actually does is helps you download other plugins. So, this is the link that I'll be providing. What you have to do is follow the guidelines, download the plugin, and once you download it, this will help you download other plugins. So, there are already a lot of tutorials and blogs written on how to download and use BIM bundles, so I won't be wasting time. So, after you install WIM bundle the next plugin that you can use is the nerd tree so basically the nerd tree is used to provide a tree like structure to your directories just like this how did I open it so fast is I just used a map function of WIM to map nerd tree to control T as you can see here and moving to the next plugin is color scheme so as you can see this multicolor system is basically provided by the color scheme plugin that I have and the power line theme is basically the bar as you can see here the normal dot wimrc wim file bar talking about the dev icons the folders and the python logo c logo as you can see here it's basically provided by dev icons not talking about the airline theme it's a stupid talking about syntactics it's an interesting plugin so let me show you uh, suppose suppose I open one of my files here dot py sec dot py sec dot py so as you can see the code is currently correct so now what I do is I just mm, knowingly make an indentation mistake and try to save it so that syntactic plugin helps me identify where is the error as you can see here it's 8 line number 8 so I quickly can figure out the line that has an error press a tab and save it again and the code is fine looking to the next plugin we have uh, snipmate another interesting plugin so what it basically does is suppose I create a file called main testing.py ok fine it already has something main ttt.py and uh, I want to load a pre code that I already usually write while starting my program I wrote template and press tab so I got my predefined code here so basically you can define these codes into your snippets so how do you access your snippet is once you install the snippet plugin you can navigate to dot vim bundles and you can see here uh, plugins all of the plugins that you installed are listed here and the one you need is snippet mate snip navigate to snipmate.vim now you can see a directory called snippets navigate to snippets and you can see all of the snippets defined here I define the python snippets as you can see here I'll open one for you python snippets so as you can see here snippet the small board that you want to use for your auto completion and here at source plus 11 lines so that those 11 lines are the code of code templates that I pasted here so like that you can define as many snippets as you want 
now talking about the nest plugin that i have is auto pairs so this basically helps you pair your braces the moment you give your opening braces it automatically adds a closing braces now fuzzy search another interesting plugin suppose i am in this uh, working on this file and i want to open another file quickly without exiting from my editor so what will i do the one option is i open a nerdtree and navigate but it's quite difficult to every time open a nerdtree so what we basically do is press control f now look for the file suppose main.py and open it so basically it helps you navigate to the files from your term uh, editor the next plugin that i have is the dark one dark basically it's a theme the black color theme that you see here that is one dark theme now as you can see here i mapped some of the keys like f8 and f9 so what it does is basically it compiles your code from the editor itself let me show you an example suppose i open a cpp code like uh, vim mo 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 dot cpp and now i want to compile it so what will i do is press f8 it shows an error since i have a compilation error and that doesn't matter if it's right it will run once you press press f9 and press enter you will be able to execute your code uh, let me show you the one that works i hope the name.cpp works fine fine so i compile it it was successfully compiled and now i can execute it so it was nothing to print here so it doesn't print anything now looking back to some of the features is uh, i mapped nerd tree as control t as you can see here i mapped fuzzy search the one i showed that is used to navigate between other directories from your editor to control f so basically i'll be providing this file to you once you put it into your vmrc configuration you'll have the same features that i have the same keys that i have mapped to and you'll be able to write your code faster compared to using any of the other editors like sublimes or visual basics basically it also have a beautiful features of navigating faster to other lines suppose i'm on a writing a code and i went here and i want to navigate to yes here fine so i don't need to use my mouse all i need to do is press f and y i'll be able to change this variable so basically these are few steps that you learn you have a lot of tutorials telling you how to use your vim keys to navigate around faster so once you master it you'll be able to use vim editor very efficiently and you'll definitely make your writing speed of competitive coding faster and it would be very beneficial in playing in online contests hope you enjoyed it thank you so much